Okay, so we're going to look at inverse proportion. If we're given the values y equals 50 and x equals 4, and we know that they're inversely proportionate to each other, that means that y is inversely proportionate to x. y is inversely proportionate to 1 on x, which we can rewrite as y equals k, that's the constant, divided by x. Now, to work out that constant and to write that equation, we need to substitute our original, value, original values in. So, 50 equals k, the constant, over 4, the x value. Now, let's solve for that k value to find the constant. We need to times both sides by 4. That's this whole side and this whole side, times by 4, to get rid of the x. 50 times 4, 200, times this by 4, that will cancel out, so 200 equals k. So if 200 equals k, we can substitute that back into the original equation to write a new equation with the constant in it. So y now equals 200 over x. So now that we know the equation, y equals 200 divided by x, uh, we can solve for any other values. So, let's say that we want to solve for y when x equals 10. So, we're going to substitute x into our equation and solve for y. So, y equals 200 divided by the x value which is 10. So, y equals 20. And we'll just do one more down here. If we want to solve for y when x equals 2, we're going to substitute that back in to y equals 200 over x. So, y equals 200 divided by 2, which equals 100. And that is inverse proportion.